The Israeli Prime Minister's office said on Monday that the military has put forth a plan for evacuating citizens, civilians in the Gaza Strip, along with an operational plan. Now, the announcement comes as Israel threatens a full-scale invasion of Rafah, Gaza's southernmost city, which has so far been untouched by ground troops. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said on Sunday that the military operation into Gaza's Rafah would put Israel within weeks of total victory over Hamas. Negotiations for a ceasefire in Gaza have resumed in Doha, state-linked Egyptian media reported. But Netanyahu said any deal would not prevent the Rafah offensive. They are going to go ahead with it regardless. Speaking to CBS, the Israeli Prime Minister said, and I'm going to quote him here, if we have a ceasefire deal, it will be delayed somewhat, but it will happen. He added, again I'm quoting him, if we don't have a deal, we'll do it anyway. It has to be done because total victory is our goal and total victory is within reach, not months away, weeks away, once we begin the operation. Now, an Israeli team was in Paris on Friday to discuss a deal on a fresh ceasefire and the release of hostages in exchange for Palestinian prisoners held in Israel. The talks then restarted in Doha with the Hamas representatives. Netanyahu said, we're all working on it. We want it, I want it, because we want to liberate the remaining hostages. He added, I can't tell you if we'll have it, but if Hamas goes down from its delusional claims and brings them down to earth, we'll have the progress that we all want. Now, during the Hamas attack on Israel on the 7th of October, Palestinian militants took some 250 hostages, 130 of whom still remain in Gaza, and which includes 31 presumed dead. As with a previous truce in November last year that saw over 100 hostages and 240 Palestinian prisoners being exchanged and freed, Qatar, Egypt and US have been spearheading efforts to secure a new deal now. International pressure for a ceasefire has mounted in recent weeks. According to Gaza officials, the death toll from Israel's military offensive on the Palestinian territory is, nearly, is nearing 30,000 people. Israel has vowed to destroy Hamas, which rules Gaza, in response to its October attack on Israel that resulted in the deaths of 1,100 Israelis.